God bless you ladies. Today on day 13 of the Woman Renew Challenge, we're looking at the woman Ruth. Um, this woman was a woman that um, had lost her husband, um, but she insisted on following Naomi, her mother-in-law, to Naomi's land. Ruth was a Moabite. She had no understanding um, of Naomi and Naomi's people. But after the death of her father-in-law and after the death of her own husband, she decided to stay connected to Naomi, to go to Naomi's land with her. Uh, and she actually said that your people will be my people and your God will be my God. Even after Naomi tried to drive her away, Ruth was insistent that she would follow Naomi to a new life in a new place and um, one thing that we learned from Ruth's story in this book is that she was a faithful woman faithful to her word and there was something that was driving her to Naomi there was something that was pulling her close to Naomi and we understand that when they got to the new land when they got to the new place that Naomi was able to be used of God by God to give Ruth the wisdom that she needed to actually um, attain her Boaz. Now Boaz noticed um, Ruth, but it was the wisdom of Naomi that actually helped to seal the deal. It was the wisdom of Naomi that actually helped to seal the deal. So ladies, today my challenge for you, my question for you is how many of us can remain faithful even after the end? You see, Ruth had no reason to remain faithful to Naomi, to remain committed to Naomi. Um, she didn't have any children in that family, so she didn't have to even follow her to where she's going. She could have done what Oprah did and turned her back on Naomi, but she remained faithful to her. She served her. She was humble to her, not just as her mother-in-law, but as someone that she had even adopted as an adopted mother. And she listened to the counsel and the wisdom of Naomi and her life changed for good. And her life actually became attached in the genealogy of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And Ruth was faithful to Naomi. And that is our challenge for today, is in our area of our faithfulness to those that God has placed in our lives as our own Naomi's. How faithful and humble are we to those people that God has instinctively placed in our lives? Naomi's are forms of the Holy Spirit that will help us and whisper the wisdom of God into our hearts, into our hearts and our minds and our lives to help direct the course of our life. How faithful are we to those people? Ruth did not have to do so, but we saw that when she did, it was good for her and for everything that came from her from that moment forth. Boaz could have found Ruth, but had it not been for Naomi, Ruth may not have been able to keep her Boaz. So that's just a challenge for us today. Ruth was renewed by her faithfulness. How are you going to allow your faithfulness to renew your life this year, this month, and this day? The Lord bless you as you take some time to go and read the book of Ruth and you'll understand better about this woman Ruth, about her faithfulness to her mother-in-law Naomi um, and how that changed and helped her life. I just want to read a short clip of what is written here in the book Woman Renewed. Um, Ruth's faithfulness to serve and love Naomi despite her own loss is something that is impressive to many. She did not have to love Naomi. She did not have to follow Naomi home. Yet something greater was pushing her closer to the woman that would prepare her to her next level. Naomi became a mother to Ruth, led Ruth into a strange land, helped her and built her into the woman fit for royalty that she became. There is something prepared and waiting for Ruth in Naomi's hometown, something that would renew her life and will cause her to forget any past hurt, any past lack, something awaited Ruth there, something that gave her a gift that she never had before, a child. Um, there is something in Naomi that positioned her to be a blessing to Ruth. Are you seeing the blessing in, Nao in your Naomi? Are you honoring the blessing in your Naomi. Are you appreciating the blessing in your Naomi's? My prayer is that we will not take for granted those people and things that the Lord has placed in our lives for such a time as this. And we will honor them. We will reverence them. We will respect them as the Lord has placed them in our lives to be a blessing to us that God will also be a blessing unto them. The Lord bless you ladies as we are renewed today by our faithfulness, by our faithfulness. Keep reading the word keep understanding by the holy ghost what he is saying to us and definitely continue to join us on the woman renewed challenge we just ended day 13 um if this has been a blessing to you in any way or any other other videos please definitely share with someone invite them to join the challenge at www 
dot youtube.com and they can just search woman renewed challenge um, or they can send an email to join and we can send them more information and that email address is um, woman renewed book at gmail.com woman renewed book at gmail.com the Lord bless you and I'll see you next time